The next one is this, and this is quite amazing. This is uh, unbelievably light, it's about 3.8 kilos. 70 watts, it pumps out a lot of power. Now this isn't just for voice, this is for voice and music. So that's the difference between things like that. These have got much larger coverage. They'll cover a classroom, a bit beyond the classroom, quite adequately. The things that people often use these for, have you ever heard the term sound field? No? It's a sound field. No, not, not hearing loop. No, no, no. Hearing, hearing loops is sometimes confused with sound field. Hearing loop is what's built into buildings where you've got a hearing aid or a cochlear transplant. Oh, the, the the yep. auditory processing. Yes, that, yes that's correct. Right. So what you're trying to do is get everything a bit clearer in the room, around the room. And so these, for example, add the ability, firstly, uh, you can have up to two wireless microphones. This one has one, a wireless receiver. And when we say wireless, there's two types. We can either have a handheld, which is up the other end. There we go. A handheld, right, which is wireless for that. Or you can also have your body pack, which is like what I'm wearing now, and you have a headset or a lapel. Headset's much better because it's closer to your mouth, so you'll get less, uh, you'll get better pickup. But by sound field, what I mean is that if you have two receivers here, what the, the advantage of that is that the teacher can have the headset, so wherever the teacher is, it's just picked up, and you can have the other handheld, which is passed around the room for students to use and to communicate so everyone can hear them. The other nice thing about this level is you add things like Bluetooth so you can stream it from whatever device you've got, whether it's your phone, your computer, whatever. Uh, it also has, in this case, SD card and USB stick input where you can stream audio from those devices but also record to them. Right, so it's very, very useful. Now, you may be aware, maybe not, it's battery. It will last most of the day, if not all of the day, right, depending on how loud you have it and what you're doing with it. But it can also work off power, of course. Also, you can plug in uh, external microphones, like a wired microphone with a jack plug. Not professional microphones, they don't have jack plugs usually, but anything that's got the, the jack plug there. And also, there's an auxiliary output that you can plug to extra speakers. Now, what most people do is they stick that either on a shelf or on a stand. There's a special stand that you can get to it. Or you can actually wall mount it anywhere you like. So it's, it's a convenient way of increasing the sound of reasonable quality sound, not just the speech, the music as well. Um, and also it comes with a nice cover. I should point that out, it's lovely, right? In fact, it's got all the pockets you need for all the mics and the accessories. So that is where you move after the personal voice. We then move up to what we call things that are made more for performance, right? So this is still made for reproducing music which is pre-recorded and voice which is live. Once we get past that, we move up into this category, which is what we call the stage series, right? And these are all um, made by Chao, right? The, the reason we've chosen Chao, to be honest, the, there's a couple of brands that do these sorts of things, right? But we have tried to seek out, it, this whole night is trying to seek out the most relevant technology for the task. You can always discuss the pros and cons of various brands and that, right? But that's the point that we're trying to make here is that if you know what you're trying to achieve, there is good technology that can help you achieve it from voice right through to the bigger stuff that we'll get to later in the night. So moving across to this one over here, this is called a, the Stage Series. This one happens to be the Stage Pro. There is a Stage Man. Right, stage Man is slightly smaller. Stage Pro is bigger. The difference is, firstly, this is a lot heavier, right? It's got a huge battery in it, and that is because this thing can produce uh, an incredible, this one, 150 watts of power, right, which is enormous. This one here is 70. There's one that's similar to this that does 50, but this one is the lighter and the newer one. It's got a lithium battery, which is fantastic. Uh, this one is the Pro, and you can have, in this case, um, up to four, wireless systems into it. And in the MAN, you can have up to two. Now the difference between what we call stage and not stage, besides the size, right, is the fact that this, because it's performance related, adds things like inputs which you can use professional microphones. Right, so this will take the XLR Canon type camera, uh, connections. It also has the jack in the middle for instruments and other things. And you can have, in this case, oh, this is actually the smaller one. You can have two of those inputs 
on the other one you can have four. It also has the same Bluetooth, SD card, USB and so on. And a lot more control of the channel. So you've got now equalizers, in other words, tone controls if you like, right where you can actually control it a lot more. So that's the essential difference between this, which is for playing recorded music and voice. This now is playing recorded music, yes, and voice, but also adding the ability to put in um, professional microphones and to a small degree instruments, things like acoustic guitars and things that are, you know, you, you're not going to put a bass guitar straight into that and you're not going to put the drum kit, <laughs> right, let's be realistic. But it, will, it means that you can have quite a reasonable performance with 150 watts, right, that's quite a reasonable output. Now, you can also have extensions, have two of these, you can have another speaker that's similar to this without all the gadgets in it that this connects to, so you can get a stereo set up if you wish. Um, now, the next one we move along now is, is getting into the beefier zone. I just realised I'm looking at that. Yep. Um, I didn't bother to pick this up. Sorry. <laughs> because it's heavy. Right, this is uh, what we call the Challenger. Now, this is quite heavy. Right, when it says quite heavy, it's about 16, 17 kilos. So, I mean, it is liftable. And it also has a hole underneath that you can actually mount it on stands like we've got over there or over here. Um, but the beauty is that you can actually wheel this around like a trolley, so it's very easy. Now, on the surface, if I tell you the basic features of this, 150 watts, 150 watts, right? And it seems to be, well, why would you go for that? The basic difference is that this has got a larger and a more efficient speaker system, so it actually produces more sound level, right? So this one has the same power, but power is also dependent on how efficient your speakers are to how loud it gets. The other is that this has, has got, um, if I can turn it around, uh, four slots here for wireless receivers. Right, there's this one here, um, which is in there, and you can add another three. Or you can also, instead, add a transmitter in here, instead of all receivers, and transmit this to an extension box that looks the same as this. It's just got an amplifier with a receiver in it. And there's unlimited numbers that you can add. So what that means is that if you were doing a sports day, you could actually put these around an oval and you would swamp the place with sound. And you, it, all wirelessly, these are battery operated. You can run them on power, but they're battery. So what you're doing here is you are using a wireless mic system into this. You can also plug a wired mic, of course a wireless microphone, and then you can transmit from here to the next speaker, and the next speaker, and the next speaker, and the next speaker. Each one being 150 watts and pumping out a lot of power. And it sounds a lot better than those horn speakers that you use typically on sports days. Yes, there's a one microphone here, which is an XLR professional microphone. You also have line in, which is stereo connections, which come from the computers or whatever else you want. Um, and then you've got the four yeah, there's no other microphones, right? But most people use it wirelessly. So usually three wireless mics plus a wired mic is enough, right? Of course, if you're going past that, that's when we get into the stuff that we're going to talk about, right? Because obviously, you know, this is not going to be used in the uh, entertainment center. <laughs> right, simple as that. And I should point out too that all of these, you know, they come with you know, covers and all the things to carry all the bits and pieces and that. Now these are things that, um, and I, I emphasise this, we've sold quite a few of these to schools where not music departments, right, usually looked after by the library or whoever, and anyone can use it. And, you, and because it's got minimal controls on it, it's very hard to muck it up. Yeah. Right, it, you just plug your mic in or get your wireless mic out, you turn it on, and the only thing you've got to do is how loud you want it and where, right? So that's very important. It's when you get picky, right? And I know there's musicians in this room. And you say, oh, I'd like to do just this and that. Well, that's when we talk about the next part.